Good morning, folks. Neptune is going to earn that like button today. We've got to look at the sun, storms, the ocean, and the farthest known galaxy as well, allegedly. Let's get started with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day mostly quiet, but for the pop on the south. Northern coronal hole incoming top left. That pop on the south was not a significant CME maker, just another practice run for when it seeks to eject larger filaments deeper into the sunspot cycle. The solar wind analysis needs only two items identified here. Top left, purple line, plasma speed is dropping, and bottom right, the green bars show the KP index is all quiet. That's the measure of the magnetic field under the influence of the solar wind. Top quake of the day, 6.1 in the Philippines. There had been numerous blood echoes in the region and the global electric circuit was pulling into lows to the south. But those lows were nothing like the low in Oceania, category 5 this morning. Strong storm has a sister nearby, but the big dog is taking on Fiji. Expect tremendous rains and landslides to follow, along with inundation in low-lying areas. This is the Himawari satellite in infrared and capturing the low-level water vapor. Speaking of storms, Typhoon Trammy has been diced up in data by Tempest and the Rain Cube. They work together to dissect and diagnose the water within a given storm, and they offer both the horizontal and vertical profiles of the return. Trammy was also Category 5, a super typhoon, and it slammed Japan back in 2018. Up next, we're going way, way out into space, literally as far as they say our technology can see. This does officially put it in the class of objects that challenges the timeline of the Big Bang. These objects like the supermassive quasars and the supermassive galaxy clusters just came together too quickly for the Big Bang to have happened the way they say it did. Up next, the oceans. Turns out they are also a major source of bias just like CO2. Over time, the overfocus on anthropogenic factors shows unreasonable warming in the models. Always has. And it has never happened. That would be like Al Gore's Arctic Ice Free by the year 2000 claim. Those scariest ones that never seem to happen are biased to human forcing and too uncertain and underinclusive of natural variability. The decadal patterns identified in this work are the ones repeatedly shown to be modulated by the sunspot cycle. And last but not least, we've got our eye firmly fixed on Neptune. The event that just happened there defies much of known science and its explanation possibilities are few and terrifying. Neptune and its moon Triton may not be the gas giants that Jupiter and Saturn are, but it is still a beast. We've seen major auroral and storm events on the blue planet, but nothing like what the most famous Neptunian storm just did. It's now going the wrong way. Imagine if hurricanes started going from Africa to the Caribbean and then just turned right around and slammed into Africa. Imagine if one ran up towards Nova Scotia and then stopped and went back down the east coast of the United States. Storm patterns on Neptune are known and well modeled. The storms form at higher mid-latitude and then go towards the equator, where they dissipate like earthly storms do as they approach the polar region. Except the famous dark storm from 2018 has stopped turned around, and is no longer heading towards its own destruction at the equator, but rather is heading back towards the polar region. Folks, this is weather. Major patterns don't just shift like this for no reason, and the reason screams that Neptune has succumbed as Pluto has, and the nearby stars have, to the galactic current sheet, as the interior planets are on their way to doing as well, in the ongoing cosmic disaster. The stars towards the center of the galaxy have already had record outbursts, the planets are all changing magnetically. Pluto collapsed already, and a magnetic collapse or reversal at Neptune is a great way to explain the reversal of atmospheric phenomena. It is indeed a prediction during the magnetic event as well. Folks, the Cosmic Disaster Playlist has all the details of where this fits in, including the solar system shift and the cycle we're about to reset now. Watch that playlist on our channel page or at the link in the description box below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Books, hats, shirts, store taking off for the holidays, closing end of the week, otf.cells.com. We've got pressure and radar forecasts and shots of our star to close. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.